Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video. Happy Dolly Days to you. Yes, I'm trying to bring you a video every day in December leading up to Christmas, and today's video is gonna be fun. We are starting a new series today. We are starting a new series. I'm so excited to bring this series to you guys. So let's get into the video. Okay, new series, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Now, this video might be a little bit quicker than normal. I have one battery. I'm trying to get a bunch of videos filmed all at once, so I'm batch filming. So let's just get started, get right into it. I have talked to Angela from Doodles by the Money, and I asked her if she would mind if I did a video series on my channel where I ranked the eyeshadow palette creations that she has created on her Instagram page. So if you guys do not know who I'm talking about, please go to Instagram. I will put her handle right here on the screen. Angela is her name. Her Instagram handle is Doodles by the Bunny. Angela does palette mock-ups. She picks a theme and she does a color story and I love her Instagram page, love it. Angela has had the opportunity to work with brands to create palettes where she does the color story. And I swear, if brands didn't hire this woman, they are missing the boat because she creates some amazing color stories. So we're gonna talk about 10 palettes today. I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do her last 10 palettes and I'm gonna rank those palettes. Hope this makes sense to you guys. I'm super excited about this. I've written them all down. I will pop photos for you on the screen so you guys can see. Now I might get my phone out for this one because I will wanna look at the palette as I'm talking about it so you guys can get an idea of the color story as I explain it. But I may or may not do that. But anyway, I'm gonna scoot over real quick and then we're gonna get started. Okay guys, this is so fun. I'm super excited about this video idea. I'm so thankful to Angela. Angela, I, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy my little uh, ranking of your palettes. Let's just go out on a limb, and I'm going to just say flat out, I don't think I've seen a palette from Angela that she created that I wouldn't buy, which is saying a lot because I just think she's so creative, and I'm like, ooh, it's so pretty, ooh, it's so pretty, and some hit me more than others, and so when I was looking at them, I was just like, why don't I rank these? And she said, yes, and she goes, do it. I said, all right, so I'm doing it. So Angela, I hope you enjoy this today. So the first palette that I wanna talk about, which ranks number 10, it's not because I don't like it. I love all of these, guys. Hear me now when I tell you I love all of these, but I'm just talking more about my preference, which color stories speak the most to me. Let's just pretend that the formulas of these are like Nomad or any other like palette, like Ace Bute or any other formula that I like, and I just like that formula that is just really, really amazing. And you put that same formula into every one of these palettes and, you know, just rank them on color story alone. Okay, the number 10 palette goes to the Naked Chill. So Angela does a lot of naked mock-ups from Naked from Urban Decay, and this is her chill version. Now this is kind of silvers and blues. I love this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's supposed to be an icy palette. Blues, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not something that I would wear a lot, so I had to rank it somewhere, and so it ended up in 10th place. So it's beautiful, though. I mean, look at it. Come on. Here you go. So the next one is a christmas theme palette, and this one's called Meet Me Under the Mistletoe. It's greens with some red pops in it, and as much as I love greens and reds, I don't like them together. So this one was easy for me to put in the bottom of the ranking just simply because of the color story and it's just not my favorite like options in terms of colors to wear together, but it's super pretty and I love the theming. So that's Meet Me Under the Mistletoe. The eighth palette in eighth place and this one is really, really pretty. Um, this is the Glam Light Monster High. So this is a Glam Light mock-up. Monster High Draculaura. So Monster High... Delilah will tell you. Monster High is a series of dolls. They, they, they're, they're monsters, but they're glam monsters. And so this one is called Draculaura. So Dracula, Draculaura. Beautiful. It's a lovely kind of pinky color story with some deep colors in it, which I really, really appreciate. But for me, I'm not a big fan of pink. I'm not a big fan of pink. So I can make it I can make it more purple and burgundy with those deep tones, but I had to rank it somewhere, and this is just one that I put in this spot because 
I just know that I wouldn't be my first choice for all of the palettes that are available in this particular ranking, but it's beautiful and I love the concept of it. And I love Monster High. So the next one is Candy Cane Lane. This is also a Christmas themed palette. And this one is reds. Now I I like red and cranberry more than pink and purple. Like I love the combination of cranberry. I love cranberry. It's just a beautiful look. Look at my shirt. Cranberry. What can I tell you? I love this one more than the, the previous one, which was pink and deep, like deep wine shades. I like burgundies and reds more than the wine and the pink. I could take these were interchangeable. Like I could have bringed the Candy Cane Lane in eight and the Draculaura palette in seven, but I just had to rank these. And so this is where I put it, but I love this. I love Christmas. I love the concept of it. I like that it's all monochromatic, but it has, it has different tones and different depths. As long as a monochromatic palette has different tones and different depths and all the shades don't look the same, I can get behind it, but it is also monochromatic. So I, you know, it could have been, it could have been interchangeable with the Draculaura, but I put it in number seven. Number six, okay, so number six and number five are very, very similar, but I ranked one over the other for a couple of reasons. The sixth palette is the Gourd Vibes, and this is a fall theme palette. It's a 16 pan palette. It looks very similar to a ColourPop 16 pan palette or the Lois Cosmetics palettes. So if you, you know, are familiar with the size of those palettes, this, this looks to be the same size as that. I love a fall themed color story. I love fall. It's my favorite season. This one just, it had 16 shades and it offered a lot more light tones and then it had that primary green in it. Whereas the palette that's following it had more of a grungy green. And so that's the Gourd Vibes, which I really, really love because I love me some squash, man. I love squash. I love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite vegetable with the exception of Brussels sprouts. But anyway, Gourd Vibes gorgeous palette, but the one I ranked right ahead of it was number five for number five is the Forever Fall palette. So this one is just a little bit deeper and a little bit richer than the Gourd Vibes palette, at least from my perspective, and the green in there is more of a grungy mossy green versus a bright green. So I wanted to, I wanted to give that one a bump up to the next spot, so that's where I put that one. So number four, three, two, and one. I went back and forth on this for a while, you guys. So Four is another glam light mock-up with Monster High, and this is the Claudine palette. Love this one. Love this one. I love the Draculaura, but this one is so much, like, I really, really love this one. Like, really, really love this one. And these, these top four, you guys, I, I was like, where am I going to put these? Where am I going to put these? And so I had to put this one here, but I love, I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. The Monster High, that's a good collab because, you know, you got a bunch of different Monster High dolls and I can't wait to see the other ones that she does, but this one's really, really pretty. The Claudine. Beautiful, beautiful palette. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Number three, I put this palette and this is the Scorpio palette. So I think we're Sagittarius now. So hopefully she's going to do a Sagittarius palette because we just went from Scorpio to Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is the new uh, Zodiac sign that we're in right now, and so hopefully she'll do a Sagittarius palette, but I love the Scorpio palette, especially for that end, when it had those deep tones. You guys know I'm a sucker for deep tones. So look here, look, look at this. It's got some, it's, it's, it's got, it's just an interesting palette tonally. It's cool, but grungy, light, but dark. It's got a lot of variation, so I really, really like that. But that was number one, but I switched it to number three, and I bumped number two, and number, I bumped number two and number three down to number one. So number three is another, or number two is another Naked Palette mock-up, and this Naked Palette mock-up is called Witchcraft, and this is green and purple. Ugh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I love those two shades. I love them together. I think that this is really just, I don't know, there's something about it that just is like, yes. I love it. I love, I'm not a big fan of Urban Decay, but if she made, if they made naked palettes that look like Angela's palettes, I would probably buy them. That's how I love my, not, that's how much I love Angela's mock-ups, but this is beautiful. I love this. I love the, the tones of green and the tones of purple that she used and the depths and the different shades and just the combinations that you could create with this are really really beautiful but number one number one i am giving it to the wednesday palette <sighs> guys i'm not a huge adams family fan i'm not gonna lie i mean it's not really like 
my favorite like thing in the world. A lot of people love the Addams Family, love the spooky vibe of the Addams Family. I really want to watch that show on Netflix, the a Wednesday show. I want to watch it. And here's why. I love Jenna Ortega and she plays Wednesday. So just for that simple fact alone, whether I'm an Adam's Family person or not, I will want to watch that because of Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega is a Disney Channel, started out at Disney Channel, and she was on a show called Stuck in the Middle, and she's so cute. She looks a lot younger than she actually is. I think she's in her 20s, but she's playing Wednesday Adams, and she's amazing, and she's so, so cute, and I love the vibe of the show. But I'm hearing mixed reviews. Some people really love it, some people don't. But this palette, look at it. Look at that corner. Look at that end. The deepness. The... the the berry, the blue, the purple. It, I love those colors together, and I love the depth in this. And I just love the gray, grayish vibes to it. It's very, very uh, gothy without being black and gray. It's got some, you know, some other tones in there that really, I think, do complement Wednesday or her color scheme if she was going to wear color on her face. This is the color she would wear. But yeah. Okay, so guys, I know that was a quick rundown of Angela's palettes from Doodles by the Bunny, and I wanted to rank them for you. So these are her last 10 palettes. I plan to do this with every 10 palettes she releases. So I hope you guys like the idea of this. Angela, if you're watching, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you're enjoying Dolly Days. We're in day six. We're going to keep going. Send me your video ideas, guys, because I'm overwhelmed with the idea of doing this every day. So I just need to keep the ball rolling. I just need to keep the ball rolling. And I need to have ideas in the can ready to go so that it's the second I'm able to film, I'm able to get these videos out to you guys. So I hope you're enjoying Dolly Days. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you will like and subscribe if you haven't already. Finger hearts. I love you. Bora hey. And you guys are awesome. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.